Hello, it's 2016 in San Francisco. It's time for TechCrunch Disrupt yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Butcher reporting for you here. Now, VR, it's really taking off, isn't it? Let's go and talk to some of these companies. And uh, while I'm here, I might have to put my iconic glasses back on again. And we have a company here that, uh, now you guys are using this for industrial applications, yes? What's the name of the company? The company is Salt and Pepper. And so what, am I, what are we looking at here? You're looking here at a tech demo that shows how an engineer that is planning a manufacturing line can embody himself, that's why we call it embodied engineering, embody himself in a virtual reality and test the manufacturing line himself and feel how a blue color worker that will later work there is going to perform all those processes. So you can evaluate ergonomy, you can see whether it's efficient enough or you can actually change it. The fun part is that right now engineers are going in a real hall, taking paper boxes and putting them there, each after each other, like in real world, to test how the whole manufacturing process will actually work. And we can put this whole process into virtual reality, and in addition to that, because the paper boxes do not have interaction, but the virtual objects can have, we can also edit them. How, how open are um, companies really to this kind of thing right now? Are they really getting on board, or is it going to take you a long time to educate uh, companies about uh, the advantages? So, as we are based in Germany, Germany companies are a little hesitating, but some are already adopting our technology and testing it. And in fact, they are sometimes quite open. So, those ones who will survive in the next few years and will not be behind the competition should use it, otherwise, they won't exist anymore. Well, there you go, that's useful. Salt and pepper, that's uh, VR and industrial applications. Now, these guys over here are doing something more in health. Uh, this is a loop reality. Hello, sir, how are you? Hello. I'm doing good, how are you? I'm great, and you're all the way from Hyderabad, I think? Yes, Hyderabad, India. Hyderabad, India, actually, oh, you must visit, it's fantastic. Now, you're going to demonstrate, now what have we got here? You've got a, uh, a little, uh, we've got the uh, bicycle here, hold that. Here we go, and so I get on this bike, and, uh, and then off we go, we put the VR helmet, we put the VR helmet on like this. And now, just talk me through what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, so the moment okay. you get into the VR uh, helmet, what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing an experience uh, as if you are biking in the woods. So uh, as soon as you start biking, your speed, your cadence, your calories, everything is coming into the uh, system and that kind of gets in uh, into your workout. It gives and you a custom made workout. And is this being projected onto here? No, it gets projected onto your headset. We're still Straight setting up. Oh, I see. So it's got uh, my speed, my calories. Um, it's, so it's an actual sort of dedicated health VR app. Yes. Now, who's going to use this? Normal, everyday could, people in the consumer world, or is it, uh, it for be, elite athletes, or who? It could be anybody who is interested in doing a fit, fitness workout, anybody who wants to get from fat or uh, fit yeah. to fab, okay. and anybody who has a bike at home. And does it need one of these high-end uh, headsets, or could you do it with a phone, or what? We can also do it with the mobile VR uh, headsets, like the Google... Uh, 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 cardboard or the yeah. Samsung Gear VR. Excellent, great. And that's uh, Loop Reality from Hyderabad. Right, I'm going to get off the uh, bicycle now. Thanks very much, guys. VR taking off in the realm of uh, health there. Over here, we'll, go, we'll, um, we'll pop around the corner to the guys around the corner here. There's um, much more around we can see uh, here. We've got uh, a whole bunch of others. Now, here's a guy coming over here demonstrating. Now this is more in the gaming world. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you doing? Brilliant. What are we looking at here? We're looking at The Wave. It's a social platform for people who love music. So we've got a guy playing the game right now. Yes, his first time in VR. What's, uh, what he's going, what's happening? He's going to DJ for the first time in VR. So he's grabbing a song down there and he's gonna put the song in the deck and then, press, then he's gonna click with his thumb in the, go in the ball and click, go in that ball and click, and now it's gonna play. Now go down here and turn up the volume. Fantastic, so DJing inside VR. Yes, right there, so right there, like that volume. And so he's controlling the club, it's all in 3D, and he could be in the audience, he can be on the turntables, he can do it all. So you could be at home, So I could be in Manchester. Manchester where? Well, England? United side, yeah, oh, United <laughs> side, sorry, North. North Manchester. Okay. You could be in LA, I New could York, be. and we could all be together. Can we get the stone roses on this one? Yeah. Um, you guys, you guys are based in the valley. Yeah. We are based in San Francisco, LA, and Austin, Texas. Uh, you raised money. What yes, is? We raised 2.5 million in our first round. 
but we're looking for new partners. We're always looking to grow. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Wave VR. Hey, Good to see so you. Much. Um, now, what else have we got here going on here? Uh, we've got uh, Save. Now, um, of course, VR is being used right now to, um, to actually uh, tell people about uh, how refugees are living. And we've got uh, the, the you guys over here. Are you from the UN? We're with the UN Foundation. We're the Nothing But Nets campaign. Fantastic. And what's your campaign on it about at the moment? So we raise funds and awareness for malaria prevention. Uh, we distribute bed nets and other malaria preventions. And we traveled to Tanzania last month and filmed a virtual reality film that follows the story of a young refugee girl and her family as they get their first malaria nets, are treated for malaria, and kind of travel throughout the camp. Uh, we've got the full film coming out in about a month, but a 90-second virtual reality trailer here at Disrupt. And, uh, and uh, so it takes people through that whole experience. What's the sort of really, why does this really make a difference uh, to the work that you're trying to do? So the average American can't really connect with malaria immediately. They don't know what, it, what it's like or have known anyone who's had it before. So this really puts you in the mindset of someone who faces the threat of malaria every day and really puts you in that emotional mindset and helps you connect more with the cause and how important it is. Fantastic. There you go. VR really being used to move the needle on social causes like Monero. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Um, now we're going to go over here and hear from these guys. Do you mind if I butt in? Absolutely. Okay, not a, okay, now what have you got over here? Cognitive VR, what's all that all about? It's an analytics platform specifically for VR. And uh, basically it's development tools to help people build better content experiences in virtual reality. So in other words, uh, for instance, in a retail environment, you're trying to work out where the people are moving around the shop floor, exactly. that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. If you're building a content experience, games, entertainment, even enterprise, understanding how your customers are moving through it, where they're getting stuck, where they're having issues, even performance issues is really important. So how do you pull the analytics out of the video, as it were? Yeah, so you drop a SDK into uh, Unity or whatever platform you're using, and then we aggregate all the uh, telemetry server side and then make it av and available in a tool called Scene Explorer uh, where our developers can work on it. Excellent, great. And you guys based here in the Valley or what? Vancouver based. Vancouver, excellent. Canada. Uh, is that Canada? Yes, yes it is. It is. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm only I'm British, you see. This is the problem. Um, right, uh, let's go and run around of one more c uh, company. Um, obviously, as you can see, um, VR has to be captured in the first place. And uh, so you've got now ground drones like these guys, Sverica VR Production. They've got their ground drone. On an, on an actual sort of gimbal right here uh, and based here. Now, where's the company? Sverica, are you over here? You with the company? Is this you? Yes. Right, come and tell us all about it. What this, are we is, at? this is a unique stabilization solution for 360 camera. Basically, we finally solved the problem of motion sickness in virtual reality when we're talking about live action content. And by presenting this technology here, we want to introduce it to the market, scale it so many people have access to this unique technology and actually produce better content in VR because right now VR is already starting but content is not there. Co more quality content is exactly what we need for virtual reality. So, uh, what's the idea here that we're going to hire you to capture it with your machinery or am I going to be able to buy this kind of this kit? Or what? Anything, in the future anything. Right now you can just hire us but we want uh, to scale it and to raise funds to introduce it to the market. You've got a demonstration of the of the VR of the video being used over here. Okay, if you come around here, um, what are we looking at at the moment? Uh, we're looking at the moment at the sports that we filmed. It was one of the projects, so uh, we're just showcasing different uh, types of content that can be filmed in live action VR and why actually live action VR is so important because there's so many content verticals that cannot be replaced with anything else. Right. It's live action video in VR is going to stay and we just need to make it better. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Sverica. Thank you so well, much. from the uh, Startup Alley, Mike Butcher signing off. And it's back to the show where it really is in reality.